Hey, YouTube and Sendar here. Today I want to talk about another great cooking recipe that can get you up to 90 million per hour. Um, uh, about three weeks ago, I did the good feed video and uh, got kind of caught off guard with uh, the messages on Discord and um, different things blowing up. Uh, got delayed, but hopefully we'll get this out today and right before the weekend. Okay, so we had good feed and I switched to organic feed. One good thing that did come from the good feed video is I did get tons of responses and comments. Um, a lot from newer players um, saying, you know, I wish I could do this. And let me just say you can do this. You don't necessarily need like um, one requirement I put in the last one was one second cooking. If you don't have one second cooking, you can still actually do this for a profit. Let's say you had five second cooking or something or you just started out, you, you know, you don't really have um, enough money for that cooking gear. It's still going to be, you know, 10 or 15 million an hour and it's completely AFK. So it's still profitable. It's just you won't make as much per hour with a slower cooking time. So if you're a new player and you're out there and you think this is not something you even wanna try, you can do this. Um, so, you know, don't be discouraged. And I guess the other thing is, um, this also will be using fish today, which does require about eight CP and fish nodes at the minimum. Uh, eight CP really shouldn't be that much of a, a sticking point for anybody. Even if you're new, it's pretty easy to get just from daily quests. I believe um, the current soft cap, something like 250 or something. Obviously, in this game, the more CP you have, uh, the the more uh, passive silver and opportunities you're going to have. Um, so let's get started today. So I'm just going to go into my house here and go up to the cooking and pull up the organic feed recipe. This video might run a little longer than I'd like. Um, at the end, I'm going to probably get into some um, mechanics and, and concerns that reappeared a lot of times in uh, comments on the good feed video. For this recipe, we're going to be looking at five meat. This could be lamb, wolf, bear, whatever. Chicken meat, um, which is pretty easy to access um, from the nodes that most will probably already have for the eggs. And chicken meat is uh, really easy to get on the marketplace at any time, by probably a half a million or so. So I don't think you're going to have any problem with that. I'm using one blue fish. Um, depending upon your setup, you're either going to use one blue, two green, or for white. I did put a uh, fish identifier on in sendar.com to help this out a little since all dried fish will appear white, even though this is really a blue fish. Um, two oatmeal or one blue oatmeal. And um, lately I've just been liking to add that salt. It's not really necessary. There's some comments about how I figure this out. Uh, I'm, I think I'm being generous even counting this as a cost because both in silver or time, and that was one thing in the comments. Oh, you got to count in AFK worker time. I, I can't see myself ever counting in AFK worker time. When I make these spreadsheets, I do it to find out what is the best cooking recipe that I could be doing per hour. And that's how I decide what I'm going to make. Um, if if I have, you know, eight workers on worker nodes for the last week, I'm not going to count in time. I wasn't even playing the game. I mean, it just it happens automatically. So I'm not going to say is AFK and I'll get into that more in a minute. Um, the second ingredient here five meat. Um, oatmeal is a bit of a tricky one in this recipe because oatmeal does require milk. And there is some other recipes that are really good for milk and I'll probably do them sometime in the near future. But for now, and for what I'm doing here, you can actually get this oatmeal as well on the marketplace. And this is the cost from the marketplace I'm using. So I'm assuming you're buying this from the marketplace. It takes two of them for 14,000. The meat was five for a total of 10,000. And by the way, since this is live, I can just type 3000 in here if that's what you're paying for your pre-order or whatever. And you can see it automatically changes the profit to that. So, I mean, it, okay, if you're paying 3000 for meat, it's still profitable, right? And then, of course, the last one here is bird meat. And these numbers obviously are ideal conditions. There's two kinds of lag currently, the 1.3 to 1.4 seconds you get in between cooking now. But there's also lag um, if you're specifically in the Eastern Standard like me, um, maybe like five or six o'clock in the evening, you're just getting off work and the server will just like lock up. I think it's like all the odd ones now do that all the time. And even some of the even ones, you know, you'll notice this while you're cooking and you'll see the cooking gauge there just totally disappear. <clears throat> I'm not counting that in at all. This would just be under ideal situations like you're playing at a time that's not peak. All right, so back to bird meat. If you're a cook and you have the egg nodes anyway, you've probably got hundreds of thousands of these bird meat sitting around, or you will. 
um, that you use for nothing. I mean, technically, I could probably just zero that out entirely. And I don't even think it's 1200 on the marketplace. I think it's like 900, right? Um, either way, I mean, it, this could be even more power if like some people are just vendoring the bird meat or just you know throwing it out. Um, I guess it could be any use here. I'm just going to say what it's costing on the marketplace if you would buy it <clears throat> and just work down here. We can see cost each. And this is cost to make 2,700, which is three utensils. That's in a one hour time period. How many you made with the 4.1 average proc? If you're just starting out, you want to make sure to get your uh, cooking up into the artisan levels. Um, it is based on procs. So if you do this in beginner, you're going to get a lot less procs and this won't be as profitable. However, once you're up into the artisans, um, let's say you have four second cooking, you're still going to make like 10 or 20 million an hour. And you can compare that to 10 million at relics or, you know, ideally 20 million at pirates. But even if you're at that slow cooking, you're not going to probably be sitting here. Um, you know, that's more of an AFK thing. So, and even if the price on this, I mean, you can see here the profit again, it's changed. I, you know, I can change that too. Eventually, I'll probably just put this on a website somewhere. Either way, this is three utensils. That's how many uh, organic feed you make in that time period. How much the cost? Um, that's the after tax with value pack. And that figures it out to the ideal possible hour. Again, that can be higher or lower depending on so many different variables. This is just how I do it. <clears throat> All right, I think that's enough with the spreadsheet. And I'm losing my voice, so let's just close that one. Um, the first thing I want to get into here is uh, rumors versus facts. Um, obviously, in some of the comments and, and some of the people have been telling me, <clears throat> you know, organic feed and good feed, if you use them, they make your pet tear up uh, early or something. I haven't actually been able to test that. Well, I should say I tested that with two pets. I smashed two pets, a cat and a penguin, and I leveled them up solely on good feed and organic, and it didn't do anything at all. So I don't know if these are just troll posts. Um, if anyone can ever confirm something like this, obviously uh, put a comment below because I'd be more than happy to uh, do a video on that, which would help sell more uh, pet food. But for now, I, I really just going to ignore that. <clears throat> so here's the big changes coming for Korea. Well, for NA. Um, currently on Korea, they have a thing where you can, you have your pets, but you can actually set them to three different modes. I guess it's like super mode, medium mode, and life skill mode. When you set them to super mode, they loot faster and they burn down that. Well, I think in NA it's called satiety, but we're just going to go with stamina. I think that's the actual correct name, but um, it's going to be when that feature hits NA and I have no idea when that's going to hit, but obviously sometime here in the future, it is live on Korea. That is going to cause um, people, anyone that owns a pet. Um, so you can imagine how many people we're talking about here. will be able to set their pet to to consume their satiety or stamina faster. And I have a feeling that's really going to help with uh, both good feed and organic feed. Um, one argument was, uh, you know, there's no way you could do this <clears throat> in bulk because of meat. And there is one simple solution to this. Um, it is called market maids. Are market maids pay to win? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I spend 10 to $15 in this game um, every month on average uh, just to give to de developers by default. And I'll be putting it all into maids now just because they're really super overpowered pretty much. Um, what you do is you just type in meat. Okay. Uh, there's some deer, deer meat. I'm going to make sure I'm going to bid on it with my silver. All day long, meat goes up here. If you have a lot of maids, you can just buy the meat constantly while you're cooking. And you don't even have to leave your house. Um, obviously, you've probably seen maybe some videos out there or some streams from people. You know, they have 50 or 100 of these things. I think there's one guy in Korea with 150 or something. The richest player over there. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, he can just sit there all day long and just spam these maids and win all these or snipe all these different um, raw materials all day long. And while he's already doing something else like alchemy or cooking. All right. See, I just got that. Okay. So there's some deer meat, right? I mean, you can just sit here all, all the time while I'm cooking and just buy all this stuff out. This is on top of pre-orders. You also notice when I did that, it was at, um, sometimes it's a minimum price. Um, which is even more ridiculous. And you can actually get this on average for more than 2000 sometimes. The only thing that's limiting you here is how many maids you have. Um, the other interesting thing is, um, you know, you might think, oh, I can't get um, 100,000 meat uh, doing this. Uh, yeah, you can, because there's people out there that actually, for some reason, 
list, you know, 10, 20, 30,000 at a time. And there's actually certain times during the day when certain people do this at the same time every day. So using this method, I mean, you really don't even have to leave your house to get these materials. Uh, this works really well for oatmeal too. If you don't want to put the time in to make your own, it only takes one blue. So you can just, you know, snipe these blue all day long or oatmeal. Of course, this is market maids. I'm not going to, you know, make a video saying it's required or anything. It's kind of ridiculous, but <clears throat> obviously having them is a huge advantage. Um, these times were actually, I guess they, they changed. I wanted to save this. All the organic feed, and I've been making quite a bit of this for the last three weeks. Um, it sells very quickly, maximum price. I said these one below, uh, I guess because I'm a bad person. But um, organic feed has a huge demand. And when the changes come from Korea, I can just see this demand going through the roof. So even if after this video, you know, the market goes to minimum, which as I showed you the spreadsheet won't matter, it's still profitable. It won't be as profitable. But um, when something like that hits NA, um, you know, people having to use twice as much food, there's your demand, right? So I hope this really helps a lot of people out. You know, I'm probably going to start doing more videos like this, um, just to get more people making silver. It's good for everybody. Um, with good feed, the economy picked up, uh, immensely from people knowing about good feed and buying it now for their pets. And, uh, I think it's great for everyone, um, to know these kind of things and I'm just going to keep doing it. Click subscribe to get notifications of any new videos. Visit Incendar.com. I put all the tools I actually use in game there. Leave a comment if there was a video you would like to see or you think is missing. And thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time.